he killed three children you know and he sliced their meat he sliced them and put them in the fridge this guy you could see from his name that he's a christian he's a christian but from the news you don't have gone through and i've read through different different websites different different news and media outlets nobody has included he's a christian but imagine this guy was a Rastafarian or somebody who was dreadlocked. And then you find a lot of people coming to say that, oh, probably he has mental illness, he's not well. You understand? For somebody to take the life of another person, that person is not well. Subscribe and press the bell button. Sometimes when I talk about how some Christians and the media do to we Muslims in Ghana here, you might think I'm exaggerating. For example, a few days ago, I made a video on this. Dead Muslim man wakes up while inside coffin and about to be buried. Now why should they say Muslim? You could clearly see that they presented this to show that we Muslims are bad people. We do not confirm our dead before we go buried. Meanwhile, that is actually not true. Another one. Muslim father impregnates a married daughter. Mother agrees for the sake of family lineage. You could also see that this was also presented to show that Islam allows incest. Meanwhile, in the actual sense, Islam is totally against that. As if that is not enough. We all know that majority of Fulanis are Muslims. Now watch this out. On a fair grounds, normally, you and I will agree that if a person commits a crime, his religion, his tribe, his race, is not important. It should not be attached. But this is only true if it's not done by a Muslim. If it is done by a Muslim, some part of the media is very quick in attaching the person's religion to it, in attaching the person's tribe to it, and that is very, very unwise and unacceptable. However, if something is done by a Christian, when have you ever heard that a Christian am robber or a Christian do this, a Christian... No, they don't attach their religion to it. But if it proves that it's a Muslim, then you find out that some of these media outlets, they are attaching the Muslim. Zongo people, they are this, they are that, just to paint our religion and ourselves black. And this is the propaganda I've been talking about. That is what we need to fight against. Now, look at the gentleman, such a fine guy, very gentle, you understand? He looks gentle, you understand? He killed three children, you understand? and he sliced their meat, he sliced them and put them in the fridge. What is worse than this? That a person would take the life of one person that a person will take the life of another person and not as if that's not enough he will slice them he will chop them into pieces and then put them in the fridge what is worse than this look at how gentle he looks imagine i'm not i'm not in any way approving or disapproving you know people who put you know dreadlocks but imagine this guy was a rastafarian or somebody who has dreadlocks imagine how you know the hatred people already have for people who have dreadlocks but look at how gentle this guy looks so another thing we need to also look into this is that this guy you could see from his name that he's a christian he's a christian but from the news you don't have gone through and i've read through different different websites different different news and media outlets nobody has included he's a christian nobody they never touch it that a christian stay what 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 they never include his name another thing you need to look at is his name <laughs> look at his name you know where he's coming from you know the tribe that he is but the media never thought it wise to put this but imagine this was done by a muslim you see they'll put the muslim there imagine this was done by you know um uh, uh, some tribe let's say fulani let's say um, some tribes in Ghana. you see they're putting the names there but because it's done by their tribes they don't put the tribe there i've gone through a lot of me they don't do this things so the point here is that why is it that if it's something done by Muslim or something is done by Zongo people, something is done by Muslim majority tribe people, then they include the tribe. But if it is done by them or it is done by what? They don't, they don't include the tribe. What is worse than this? What crime is worse than a person killing, taking the life of another person and not just one person, two, three people? As if that is not enough, he sliced them into pieces like, like Mayanka is going to... And then you find a lot of people coming to say that, oh, probably he has mental illness, he's not well. You understand? For somebody to take the life of another person, that person is not well. See, that could be a possibility and that could be right. But why is it that whenever a Christian has done something or a non-Muslim, I'm not saying only Christian, but because we're in Ghana, I need to make that clear. Why is that whenever a Christian or a non-Muslim does something, yes, and it is worse, it is very true. We think that, okay, it could be mental illness, which you could be correct, you understand, before. So that person needs mental assistance before being taken through the court proceedings. 
but whenever it is done by a Muslim, we don't think it could be a mental illness. We don't think that this person needs mental assistance, mental health assistance. But rather, we just think that this person needs to go to the court direct. Why is it so? If something is done by a Christian, then we just think that that person has, may have a mental illness. Oh, this is not normal. Therefore, he has to he needs some medical attention before we now think whether he is now qualified to go to court or not. But if it is done by a Muslim, this person is devil. They are, they, the Muslim, that is how they are. Zongo people, they are bad people. He needs to go to the court. He needs to go to prison. He needs to be killed. The Asharia law will do this, do, do, do. Why is it so? Now, as an average person, an average Christian, or an average Ghanaian, you need to think through this. Whenever something happens, you are quick, and he's a Muslim, you are quick to say he needs to go to prison. They are bad people. But whenever something that has happened, and it's, it happens that happens is a Muslim, is, is, is a Christian, then you don't, you don't think so. You think he, he needs medical attention. You understand? You need to think through this and know that you have been brainwashed. Either you have been brainwashed or you have been, you know, you know, made to hate some group of people, which is actually not acceptable. For example, if Emmanuel, who is a Christian, commits a crime, we think that, nah, this is not normal. He needs some medical or health assistance. He needs some mental health assistance before maybe he faces the law. Now, if a similar crime is committed by Abdullah, we think that ha, Abdullah is a bad person. He's evil. Zongo people, they are bad people. They are this, they are this, they are that. Therefore, they must face the law. They have to suffer. He has to be taken to prison. He should not be let go scot free. He needs to... Why don't you think that Abdullah also needs mental health assistance? You understand? So that is that is that is the line I'm trying to draw here. But in actual sense, all what I'm just trying to say is that if somebody commits a crime, whether he's a Muslim or is it not a Muslim, he must face the law. He must be made face the law. You understand? However, that kind of discrimination of that person being a Muslim, tagging some people Muslim, tagging some people a uh, uh, Fulanis, is something that is not acceptable. And that is so unwise and uncivilized in some part of the media in Ghana here. So with this, I say that, let withhold justice. However, let's love lead and not preach hatred against some tribes in the count, some tribes or some religions in wherever that we live. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.